Okay, I think we are golden. Hi, welcome to Arm Wraps. My name is Randy Miller, and today I'm going to be showing you how to wrap tables, table, and then there's a, a other stuff we're going to wrap and everything. Um, I'm actually at the Las Vegas uh, shop today, and we are opening up a shop in Las Vegas, and we're in the beginning stages. Oops, I just pulled that off. <laughs> and um, and so we got lots of vinyls we're going to test out, or not test out, but actually um, wrap. So when a client comes in here, he gets they get to see the, the true wrap on the subject, the door, uh, cabinetry, or anything like that. So um, stay tuned. We got like three, four videos to show right after each other, one after each other. But for now, I'm going to show you how to wrap uh, the table. And we are going to, this is actually an FW7157 series. It's a kind of a burnt wood look. And we're going to be really cool. And also, um, let me just take this guy off real quick. I'll show you real quick. These are some of the, the samples, or actually uh, the little sheets that we're going to use. This one's going to be my favorite one right here. And it's iridescent, so it changes colors. And we are going to wrap that guy right here next video. You can see where the vinyl is cut right there. Uh, but for now, I just want to show you how to wrap this table. And you can actually wrap your own table too with this stuff. If you go to armwrapsstore.com and you can just look through all the materials. Again, I'm going to put the links down below of all the materials I'm using, also the tools I'm using and everything. So again, this is the FW1757 series one. Okay, the tools I'm going to be using, actually, when I first started out, I have uh, water and, and um, rubbing alcohol right here. I clean everything. I clean all the way around here, uh, around here, the edges, everything. And next, uh, everything I ever dry, I'm going to use a primer 94 and a little cotton swab. And I'm going to get underneath here and all right here and just around the edges. You only need just a little bit. You probably just need a half an inch. Uh, just to get enough to vi the vinyl to, to grab on top too. Okay, on the tools, I'm going to use a, a squeegee. Well, let's see, actually, this is a real beat up squeegee. I need to get a new one. Um, I buy all my tools from yoltools.com. They're the best tools to use. And this is called a Betty. I love my Betty. Also, this is um, a roller. It's hard but soft at the same time. Um, I'm going to use this guy on, on both of them, but definitely on this one because when you're rolling it, you don't scratch the surface. If it does, if there's any possibility of scratching, you want to use a roller. Next, um, I'm going to use a bodyguard, and this doesn't cut. Um, I can cut right on top of the desk, just like this, and just it'll cut just the vinyl. Uh, the uh, the back of the paper or the vinyl itself um, so it's great I use this all the time this is the double cutter so um, I'm going to show you the double cutter on this one right here when you're doing some kind of table wrap you can see the double cut right here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the vinyl on top of the, the the table and then take that strip right where I know it and adjust it where I need to do take the strip and then pull it off tax it on and I can double check everything make sure it overlaps 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 all the way around and then when I can do I'll take it off and kind of go from there and of course I need my ruler and or my uh, tape measure and uh, this guy believe it or not um, it's a spacer but also it shoves this one you don't I don't need to use this one but um, I use it on a boat one and I used it everywhere I went. And it's just a spacer. So that can be another video I'm going to show you. And of course, titanium knife. I like using titanium knives because they last a lot longer. All right, well, let's get started. Okay, I already did all the cuts and measurements and everything just to speed up the videos for you guys. So. gonna lay it down and the vinyl or the double cut already came off so it's no big deal it, it's it's high enough and so it doesn't stick on there so right now I'm just going to make sure it is overlapped everywhere and 
And this is what you can do the same thing for your table. Actually, this is pretty cool. Actually, on this one, on the same material, I'm going to wrap a laptop too, so stay tuned. This is the top of the, little wrap, little wrap, top of the laptop. Okay, so there's going to be a little extra on this side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my bodyguard. And I don't need to cut the knife or I use a knife or anything. So, so go right about here. And I can use this extra piece for whatever uh, trim work or whatever. Any extra scraps or anything like that. Okay. Now I know everything is all lined up perfectly. I'm going to use this as a tack. So I'm tacking it on so it's not going anywhere. It's not. So I know exactly where it's going to be. I can use my Betty squeegee or I can use this roller. I'm going to use this roller and uh, makes it easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it down about five inches and tack it or crease it down. This is what it does it lifts the vinyl up. So you can kind of see how it's lifting up a little bit. So if you've got any comments or questions, comment down below. Um, I can, I'll answer you after the video is over and always in the future. And honestly, you don't really need to have a squeegee for this, this type of vinyl. I mean, it's beat up and I think the more beat up it is, the better. Because it looks like it's burnt wood. And I'm pulling uh, probably every four inches. And you can use a regular squeegee. This one actually, it takes all the air bubbles out. And if actually if there's an air bubble right in there, it's pretty easy. I usually take a, my knife and I poke it a little bit and then I massage it out. And if it's really, really big, um, I add a little heat to it. That's a little, um, little other trick that I can do. I can show you later on. Okay, again, another five inches. Just enough to tack it down. See, it's lifting up a little bit. You can hear that air bubble seeping through. That's the, one of the beauties things about this the roller. And for wrapping a desk, it doesn't take that long. The reason why I do these videos is, is to record how long it takes me to do this. Actually, let's do it this side. I think I'm out of your way. Actually, let's zoom in. And for a table wrap, it's pretty simple. You can do it. Okay, now the fun part. Okay, so there's curves right here. There's two different ways you can do the, these curves. Oops, let me uh, let me zoom out real quick. Um, let's do. Let me get a little closer for you guys to to look at. Sorry about that. I just want to get a little closer to show, show you. Okay. Okay, so on this one, there's two different ways you can do this. You can actually uh, cut like right here. And then, um, actually I'll show you. Let's do it this way. So I'm going to do two different ways. I'm going to do it on this side over here and then the other side real, real quick. Make 
here's a prime example I'm going to show you real quick. If you're nervous about cutting on top of here, let's see if I can do it on this one right here. Okay. See how I just kind of, oh, hopefully it was in the way. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Hopefully that doesn't, uh, see I'm using this phone right here and you, you can uh, do the camera that way. Sometimes it, I touch it and it goes that way. All right. Okay, now let's do, let's just do the cutting now. So I'm going to put the vinyl there. This is the hard part now. Uh, two different ways. Okay, so I'm going to do this way. I'm going to go right at the edge. You don't want to cut too much over. Or in. Okay, there's the one cut. Looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to make sure there's no overlapping. So you can cut a little slivers off. So if you can't feel anything, that's good. That's what I like about this stuff. It's, it's like wood you can mold it okay now I'm gonna take my knife I'm gonna try to there we go and you can just keep on shaving until it's there uh, did okay not the best I could take a mark to marker to this you can see how, let's see if I can zoom up, where the mistake is at. There's like a little, little sliver right there. You can't really see, but there's a little sliver. But again, I'm showing you the different techniques, okay? Okay, let's go, uh, let's do another technique. Let's go on this side real quick. Kind of in a tight little area. Okay, guys. Thanks for stop or seeing by. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little heat. Uh, on this one, you don't really need to add heat. But I'm just going to show you uh, different. I want to make sure everything looks good, right about there. And thanks for your comments too. I mean, if there's, I see a few comments on there. Okay. This one I don't really recommend because during time it, the vinyl does curl up a little bit. But I did put primer 94 around these edges. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little heat. It's gonna soften up a little bit. Okay, now I'm just gonna stretch it over. There we go, that's it. Simple as that. And I'll do is I'll take pictures of uh, close-ups of this, just to show you uh, what the end result because it's so dark. Okay. Oops. Those are some of the techniques that you can use that you get you back on your high horse. And if you're remotely interested. 
And if you live in Las Vegas, we do have a store. And Izzy can help you there. You can come. You can take. Come back here. You can see the uh, the table and everything. Smell it. Lick it. Whatever you want to do it. <laughs> Izzy will take care of you. Okay, on these right here, I can kind of feel the air bubbles right here. So what I know I like to do, I mean, it's sticking going to heat it up. And actually I can see, it's so dark, I wish you could see this, uh, the vinyl dancing. And it, what the heat does, it activates the glue, softens up the vinyl, and it sinks in the subject. Now I want to do this next video on the table wrap over there. Uh, hopefully you get to see a little bit better. Okay, for the corners, actually, to be personalized, I actually like the one with the heat over there. It looked better. It was easier to, uh, to install, uh, a little faster, but also it looks a little bit better. And every installation is a little bit different kind of holding up there I like to go at least two inches in or as far as you can because when people put their feet or knees up here they would they will put it up here and they can feel it. but also people have less chance uh, picking at it too so it's about about three inches in. Okay. Let's go on the other side. Let me cut this excess off first. Yeah, let's bring you guys too. Actually, cut the holes out. Okay, right here, I'm going to use my knife because that's why I used over here. Actually, I don't like the feel of that. So, I got most of it off. I'm going to use my and this is what I do with a lot of edges. Yeah, it feels much better now. Okay. It just softens up the vinyl right here. And believe it or not, this vinyl is sandable around the edges. Okay, I'm feeling that little groove right there. I'm gonna add a little heat so to in, it get the in more in the groove, but also add a little heat on the side over here. Yeah, I, there's a, like a little sliver of color right there I'm not liking, so I'm gonna add a little little markers over here. No big deal. Okay, let's grab you guys and get on this other side. I don't want you missing anything. Okay, hopefully you guys can see all that. <clears throat> oops, 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 oops. Okay. Okay, so I just pulled the drawer out a little bit. And it's sticky enough. Okay, it's, I mean, it's, after I use this heat, it's, it's on there. Oh. 
Now I wonder, can you see that dancing a little bit? This is where my Betty comes in. Betty's my little girlfriend. Okay. I'm gonna soft up the vinyl a little bit. You can see how it's dancing a little bit. Then you can So I can still feel the the Okay, so looking good. Camera thing hasn't moved. Okay. Fill little air bubbles. Ooh, perfect opportunity. Okay, here. Boy, I don't know if you can see there or not. Okay. Oops, sorry. You didn't master this little gadget. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. You kind of feel it or hear it, right? So what I do, I just kind of poke it like that, and it's gone. Okay, that's not too exciting. <laughs> okay, now let's do Do the um, drawers next. That's weird. Oh, anyway. Okay, what do I do with the drawers? I just kind of pull everything off. I'll, I'll show you two different ways. On this one, you don't really need to be precise. Okay. Now, what I do is I, I pinch it right here, and I can see where the exactly where the corner is at and I do like a four same thing and I go right at the edge okay okay next there's two different ways you can do this 
you can um, do the sides first. And on this right here, I sometimes just go like this. I cut right in top so it's nice and level. Get over here real quick to show you. Come on. Okay. And then. For the bottoms, I usually just let it hang, go inwards. This has particle to do is, I'm gonna add heat. I'm gonna try to sink it into I'm going to have this vinyl more or less sink into the grooves of the particle board and then wrap it all the way around to the edge of the door. So I'm going to add a little heat to this. It just melts it into the particle board. Okay. Now, oops, let me clean this edges up. I usually take a knife Okay, now I'm going to on this, I don't know if you can see that, it's a 45 degree angle cut, so I overlap it a little bit. And on this one, no one's ever gonna see it. Uh, it's better to have vinyl on top of vinyl. It just sticks better. And then I'm gonna add a little heat to it. I'll show you. And I did add primer 94 around these edges, so this is going to bond very well. The beauty of this is actually, if you get tired of this look in like next month or next year or three years down the road, you can actually pull it off and replace it. So you're basically updating everything. See, I'm just going to sink it in a little bit. To be honest, I can't see it, and I'm pretty sure you can't see it on the videos, the edges. So, it's a nice smooth edge. That's why I like those smooth edges. And you can actually take your uh, your uh, sandpaper too. Okay. So far, it's looking good. Make sure it closes okay. Okay, let's do um, let's do a bigger boy. Oops. Let's 
go down now. Okay. 